I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was Wait, why are we singing Pokemon? Well, because we're talking about the leaning Bladex 900 Sun Max And there's also a moon version, just like the Pokemon games Oh yeah, good call, I didn't even realise that but Let's go catch them all so if you're new here, we rate rackets on four main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. These are filling and handling, control, power, and speed. Now the Blade X 900 Sun has a 295 millimeter balance point, which according to Leaning sits in the mid to high balance point range for their rackets. Tailored for professional players who want more offensive play with enhanced rebound performance, which is achieved with the high modulus graphite and highly elastic carbon fiber. And they call that technology Accelitech. If you want to hear more about the tech that this racket has, it has the HDF shock absorption system, which reduces shock while allowing the transmission of more power through the racket. The TB Nano also helps with this. The Ultra Carbon and the Aerotech Beam system. And that makes the racket stronger, more rigid, and it allows it to be more aerodynamic through the air. And lastly, a dynamic optimum frame, which makes the sweet spot larger. We tested the 3U or 88 gram version, strung with BG80 power at 28 pounds. So, what did we think about it? Honestly, as soon as we picked it up and swung it through the air, it felt really stiff and a bit clunky. But we were more satisfied with the feeling of the racket when we actually started hitting. Although, it is still definitely on the stiff side. Now, control-wise, it was actually quite good for a stiff racket, but it took a little bit of getting used to that extra rebound, that extra bounce, and we could actually feel it as a bit of a difference compared to other rackets. Maybe it's that Accelitech that they that tout. Maybe. So, for power, it was just okay. We tend to like more flexible shafts on our rackets to allow a bit more whip and snapback that helps us with power, but someone who can generate a lot of power without the need for flex would probably find it easier to smash with. Yeah, the power wasn't, it wasn't easy power. Yeah. But for speed, it was good, and it was similar to the other high-end even balance rackets that we played with, such as the Yonex ArcSaber 10 and the 11 Pro. And for looks, well, let's just say that it's not really our jam, but each their own. So now for our ratings. For feeling and handling, we gave this racket a 7 out of 10. For control, we gave it a 7.5 out of 10. For power, 7. And for speed, an 8. So that's a total of 29.5 out of 40. So, who's it for? Well, we think it's for advanced and professional players who prefer stiffer rackets and is looking for something even balanced in the leaning range. It's probably geared more towards the rally or control player and not so much towards like a very heavily attacking style, even though it is promoted as more of an offensive racket. Now, that being said, if you're a player who generates power quite easily, it could be something you may like because you'll be able to compensate for the lack of whip in the racket. And lastly, if you're a beginner, we'd probably say that this racket isn't quite for you. It's not that forgiving in our opinion, and it's very stiff. So, how much will this bad boy cost you? Well, this one will set you back around 350 AUD, which is pretty steep. Now, based on this and how it plays, will we try, buy, or deny? We think deny for this one. Now, there are many other even balance rackets out there that we prefer from leaning Yonix, Victor, and of course, Volant 2. So, this is the Volant Rogue S1. It's our even balance racket that we think is definitely more forgiving, has more of a flexible shaft, and might be more suitable for your play. So, you can get one now by using the link below. And that's it from us. Team Rocket blasting off again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha